Good, good. Okay. What's up, guys? What's up? Uh, I have my with me my friend Jay and my other friend Joe. Jay and I are going to start this video series where we just like every week take a look at some very nice cheeses from Jay's work. Where do you work, by the way? I work at uh, De Laurenti Food and Wine at Pike Place Market in Seattle. So there we go. Today we have four of them. Um, but before we introduce that, we have our special guest for this week, Joe. I'm here for the food. And she just really wants to eat the cheese, which is a pretty good reason. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go over what we have real quick. Well, we have a blue cheese over here, the Bailey Hazen, and it's a raw cow cheese from Vermont. Then we have the... The Pilomena, it's also a raw cow cheese, but from Washington. And then we have the Kikorongi Blue, which is a cow cheese from New Zealand. And last but not least, we have a Campo, which is a cow cheese from North Carolina. Yeah. We're just going to go through these. We're not cheese experts or anything, but we will be trying them and maybe learning a little bit about cheeses along the way. So which one do you guys want to start with? We can start with whatever one. Let's go with Campo. With the Campo? Yeah. Okay, so this cheese is really interesting. When I was buying it, I asked the guy to give me something really like distinct. So it's actually a smoked cheese. So it's gonna have like that smoky barbecue Ooh, flavor with it. Ah. And when I opened it, it smelled kind of funky already. So we'll, we'll see. Cheese. Somebody's dying on the inside from that. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Definitely tastes like the smoky. It's kind of weird. I tried a little bit when I was at the store. Yeah. It's got like a burnt pine taste to it, but not in like a gross way, and just like a interesting Definitely back of the mouth. mouth. Yeah, it's really soft too. Yeah, very soft. Um, let's try it holds together, it is kind of firm, but it is very sort of springy. Mm -hmm. Right on the cracker. It's really smelly, and the thing is, when you smell it though, you don't really get like a lot of that smoke, only when you like yeah, when you shove it in your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Really coats the cracker. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you definitely be able to like spread this on bread or cheese or whatever pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Especially if you were like warmed up slightly. So a weird thing I kind of noticed was um, by itself there's a lot of that funky flavor. I mean, of course that smokiness. Mm -hmm. But when I put it on the on the cracker, mm -hmm. yeah, it gets a little better. Yeah, the funkiness. This goes is a away. rosemary cracker for any not anyone who's wondering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's definitely nice. <clears throat> then you get more of the like. It tastes Pop. woodier instead of like burnt. Yeah, I think. You get more of the like positive notes rather than just like ah smoke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's a Kikarangi blue. Uh, did you find out anything more when you were picking it up? Um, it's very creamy. Um, it's very nutty, woody. Hmm. Um, yeah, like mm -hmm. yeah. I think normally when you eat blues, like when you get that like shitty blue at like mm -hmm. on your salad at whatever wherever. Yeah. It's like yeah. not very good, and it's not very blue. And people think that blue cheese is bad, or at least I used to think that blue cheese was shitty. But you just kind of have to lean into that blueness and get funkier and funkier blue to get the good stuff. And so this is pretty strong, but it's pretty good. I like it a lot. You're right. Embrace the mold. Yeah. Funky. Yeah, badass. Okay. First thoughts? What do you think? I want to get a little bit of that rind. Let's see what Not as intense as I thought it would be. But super creamy, right? Mm -hmm. Like milky. And this is from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. huh? We didn't try it without the cracker for. Oh. Wow. Most of that right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Down the hatch. Mm. So eating it without the cracker, you can kind of get that like that blue bite. Mm -hmm. you know? That sort of moldy, like mm. zesty, tangy. Weirdly enough, honestly, I feel like the like bite from this is actually much more pleasant than the bite from the compo. Mm -hmm. For some yeah. reason the compo, not quite my thing just when it's by itself. Yeah. It's like slightly, I guess. Compo, definitely pleasant. better with stuff. This is actually better by itself, I think. It is. Um, mm -hmm. Orange is very plain white bread, and I think on the flavored cracker, it's not as good. This is a um, good intro to blue cheese cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Although if you really don't like blue, maybe not, but. Big baby. I think it's good. It has the bite, but it's not like super sour or anything like that. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's true. It doesn't like sting your nostrils. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it's a very specific. Wait, have you had blue cheese sense. that stings your nostrils? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe that was going off. Maybe. A little spoiled, possibly. No. 
See, even though it has mold in it, we can't just leave it. And no, then... no, I am pretty sure it was <laughs> supposed to be like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, okay, Joe, you get to struggle with the name this time. Just say Pilomena. Pilomena. A. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> <laughs> so the next cheese is uh, Pilomena. It's a raw cow cheese. Pilomena. <laughs> It's from here in Washington, so local, which is nice. Yeah, go for it. All right. So, anything, any more info about this cheese before we taste it? Um, you know, one of my coworkers told me something about this cheese. I promptly forgot, so we're gonna go eat it. Okay, well, let's find out. Yeah. More surface area for the tongue. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is a what is this? No, this raw is, cow. Yeah, raw cow. Yeah, you can definitely taste more of like the milk that it was made from, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't have any of that like bite from like the blue or the combo or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just more where you're like run the mill traditional cheese. Yeah. But good, it's not just like, I mean, it doesn't taste like a block of cheddar, mm -hmm. but it, it has some profile to it, so. mm -hmm. some nuance. A little bit. Very nuanced. This is like something I would like add to the top of my grilled cheese. Or like... Yeah. yeah. Okay, new degenerate video idea. Shred all the cheese and then take it to your local Subway and be like, I just want the bread and can I put this on it and give it to me mm. toasted. <laughs> I do like their bread. even if $30 it's $30 pound cheese on Subway bread. Okay, final one. So the Bailey Hayes in blue. Let's try a little bit. I, I feel like like even this much right here is like a lot. Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> Oh, no. Shh. Oh. They don't know. That's like the a dollar. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm telling. It's not. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, this is a cheese I've got a few times. I've brought it back to the house. Everyone who's tried it has really liked it. Um, it is actually the number one rated blue cheese in the country. I don't know what the rating or who rates it, but I'm sure there's a cheese board yes. or whatever. <laughs> cheese board. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that rates cheese out there, and it is, it is the best one. Uh, so, yeah, mm. pretty good. And this company that makes it uh, is well known for their other cheeses as well. Um, and they're known for also uh, wrapping their cheeses in interesting materials like barks of different trees and leaves and things like that. Yeah. Um, this one is not wrapped in anything crazy, I don't believe. Uh, but they have ones that are wrapped in different kinds of bark and they mm. impart different flavors. It's mm. pretty cool. Yeah, when I bought this one, he said this particular wheel that they were grabbing it from had like chocolate tones to it too, which yeah. was something interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite at the level where I can like taste that kind of stuff. Yeah. But uh, maybe eventually, by the end of this series, mark my words, I'll cheese master. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be the cheese whiz, dude. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's like rank these. I know they're not all the same, so it's like not no. fair to like really compare them. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like favorites, let's just go down the line, starting with Joe, mm -hmm. and say which ones we like. Yeah. Just like overall, what mm -hmm. would you probably be most here for? Yeah. What do you be most implied? Like, what do you want to buy the most to like the least? Mm -hmm. Like, which one you'd buy? Mm -hmm. yeah. And just to eat by themselves. Yeah. I think I think I'll stick with that one as my top. So it's the Kikurangi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause it's it's easy to introduce to people, and it's that good blue cheese without like mm -hmm. destroying your mouth. It kind of looks pretty too. Yeah, it's really uh, nice. What about the least? Mm, yeah, that one was just a little the bit compo. boring. Boring. Yeah, mm. I thought so. Yeah. For sure. Um, I probably like the Bailey Hazen. I just like how strong it is. Yeah. I'm a fan of strong flavors. The other blue is also good. Definitely my least favorite is the Compo though, just because it's like, yeah. it's a little bit too out there and by itself without anything. I just can't quite get over that it's like funkiness, which doesn't even come from like mold or anything. It's just like- Yeah, it's not a cheesy funkiness. It's, it's just from the smoke. Mm, yeah. 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 And I, it's not a smoke flavor that I've had before. I don't, I don't know what they smoke it with, I should ask, uh, mm -hmm. next time I'm at the shop. Um, but yeah, not a huge fan either. Okay, what about you? Yeah, I'd probably put the Bailey Hazen at the top. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it just, I think, overall has the best flavor. And then it's probably the Kikarangi, mm -hmm. um, and then Pilomena, and then Kampo. So mm -hmm. it could be we're just fans of blue cheese more than a lot of other cheeses. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe they are better, but we're, right. we'll know in a bit when we try out more. Mm -hmm. We'll know for sure. So that's all we got for today. Thank you for joining us.